Green screening footage can be a lot of fun. You can make yourself appear on vacation in another country, you can interview yourself, and you can do cool little special effects with it. But how do you green screen using free software? Well, there are a couple of free software out there on the market that can do this. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do it using the free and open source software Blender. Now, Blender is actually a 3D modeling and animation software, but it's also a very powerful video editor as well. So if you don't have Blender, head over to blender.org and download the latest version of Blender. The download and installation part should be quite straightforward. So for this tutorial, I'm going to head over to videvo.net and I want to go ahead and use this footage over here, the young woman on green screen gesturing with VR headset. Uh, the author is Vidivo. I'm also going to go ahead and download this one as well. So search for stars and dust abstract motion background on Vidivo.net and the author is also Vidivo. So just free download and it should download straight away to your desktop. Okay, so once you're in Bender, what you want to do is we want to go ahead and change over to the compositing uh, workspace in Bender. So go ahead and hit that tab over there and you should be presented with a screen like this. Go ahead and tick use nodes and for our green screen footage we will be making use of nodes in blender so first of all i'll go ahead and select this one by clicking on it and then hitting x to delete that node alternatively you can go to node and delete you can see the shortcut key x will also do the same thing as well so now i want to add an input node and it will be a movie clip okay go ahead and hit open and search for the background one that you downloaded. So in this case, this one over here. Okay, so I have the background there loaded. Alternatively, instead of uh, going to add, you can also do Shift A. That's exactly the same thing as add. So if you go Shift A, we want to add an output viewer node so that we can see what's going on over here in the screen over here. So if I connect this one uh, to the image, and also to the viewer image, we can see what's going on in the background. That looks like the video size is quite big. So you can go to view and hit fit. So it should fit perfectly in the back. Okay, and also I want to link these two together. The, the composite node is what will be shown when you f hit the final render button. So when you hit render animation and the viewer is just what you see in this view over here. So ultimately the final result of this view will also be the final result of this render so i want to join these two together so, so hit shift and right click like so and that should link it up like that cool so now if i play back this animation over here we can see albeit very very slowly is updating in the, the the viewport so it's a little bit slow uh, because we are working with nodes, so it will be even more slower as we add more nodes. So basically how the node works is you have an input node, which is your movie, and you have output nodes, which is what the final output will be when you hit render, and you have a, a bunch of other nodes that you'll add in between them. These nodes will uh, do some processing on the input node and then uh, convert it so that it will uh, achieve the desired output. So in this case, your input will be the video and your desired output will be your final video footage that, that is green screened. Okay, so we have the movie clip over here. We want to duplicate this. So we can hit Shift D to duplicate this node. Alternatively, you can go to Node and Duplicate. That's also the same thing as Shift D. And then we'll just bring this down over here. And we'll change this one to use the, uh, the footage of the green screen. So if I connect this one to the viewer, we can see uh, what that looks like over here. Cool. So, yep, yeah, so that's looking good. Uh, one other thing that we need to do is our render size. If I can see over here, you click on this tab over here, the output properties, the render size is 1920 by 1080, which is high definition. So I think these two footages are high, high definition by default, but just to be safe, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit Shift A, uh, Distort, Scale, and then click, uh, just drop that in between here and change this one to render size and do the same thing with this one. So connect this one to this one. Uh, this will just ensure that the, our final render will be the render size. So next thing we want to do is we want to overlay this uh, image on top of this image. So I think just to make that clear, I'll put this, sorry, 
So let's click this one, shift select this one, and let's move it to the top. This one, shift select this one, move this to the bottom, and move it down. Cool. So we need to mix these two together. So the way to do that is by going to shift A, color, mix node. So mixing the color from this and this. So if I put this one over here, you'll see that this image is taking preference. So the main reason is because this factor over here controls um, how much of the uh, color is being mixed. So if I go all the way to zero, we see our full green screen image. If I go to one, we see our full background image. So this factor is determining that. If I go halfway, you get half of this one and this one. Okay, so in this case, I think the ordering is the other way around. Um, at zero, it needs to be uh, the background. So this goes on top. And at one, it needs to be the foreground, which is uh, this one. So when it comes to the node system, it's actually the other way around. The bottom one is the one where the image is on top. and this one is where the image is in the background. Okay, so now that we have something like that, how would we get rid of all this green stuff? We have our two input sources, that is the green screen footage and our background, and our output uh, displays whatever processing is going on over here. So cool. So the next step is now to remove everything in green. So how do we do that? Well, in Blender, we need to make use of another node called the keying node. So we can bring that in by going shift a mat keying node and let's just drop that in over here uh, so far nothing's happening that's because we need to choose a key color so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click this color select this eyedropper tool and just click somewhere around here where the green is so that should give you a more accurate green and straight away we've removed all the green in this footage but the thing is, we can't see the, um, the background. It's just made it another color. Well, the way to do that, if I just move this to the side a bit, is by making use of this mat and plugging that into the factor. So now, our uh, background has been completely removed. So now if I play back the video, we can see that our character is uh, pretty much playing her game in the middle of space. So it doesn't make sense, but I guess green screen footages aren't really made to make sense. So while I play back this footage, I can see that we have a little bit of these um, uh, little artifacts over here. The reason why you, why you see those little artifacts is because uh, that part, like the green in that part is not as, um, as the, the exact color that we have over here. It's probably a little shade off of green. This could be due to shadows or a slight differences in lighting. But it's not the exact it's not a perfect exact green that you get so you'll find this a lot when you shoot your own footage like little bits of shadows or while the input footage does look quite good um we can see that there's little bits of dark greens and a little bit of like a light shadow going on over there so we have to take that into account okay and the way to do that is by playing around with these settings until you remove all this so in this case i think it's clip black we just need to turn that up a little bit maybe 0.2 Oh yeah, we're removing a bit more. Maybe if I increase it a bit more, we remove it completely. So now our character looks great. Sometimes what you might find is if I can zoom in, so let me just click and drag this. Sometimes you'll find on the corners, you'll find a little bit of green sticking around. So the way you can fix that is by using dilate erode. Oh, so maybe erode. You just want to cut away, so that will remove all the, the possibility of having any green. And there's also, if I zoom in, you'll see that there's a bit of anti-aliasing going on. That tends to happen when it comes to green screen footage. So uh, it's sort of what separates the amateur green screener compared to a more pro green screener. So I think the way you can fix that is um, by doing some kind of blurring. So maybe adding a bit of post blur. Uh, no, that won't work. Uh, maybe adding a bit of pre-blurring. Uh, sorry, there's also one more thing you need to do. If you want to get less uh, aliasing effects, like you see over here, 
to get less aliasing effect, you also need to click this one over here. So you need to include the alpha. That can also help to cut out that and make your character look like it's integrated into the scene better. Pretty amazing what you can do with using just free software. So if you want to save this out into a video clip, what you want to do is first of all make sure that the frames, that the final frames are right. So depending on how long your animation is, the best way to check is by going to the video editing tab. Drop your source footage in here and uh, see how long your footage goes. So in this case, my animation ends over here. So that would be frame 400 and let's say 430. So you'd go 430 over here. So that's how long your animation is. Let's go back to the compositing workspace. Then you'd want to choose uh, where you want to save it. So go ahead and click here. Uh, and I might save it to this directory and we'll call it something like my uh, green screen footage. Okay, and to save it as a video clip, change this from PNG to FFmpeg video and um, choose something like MPEG4. And that's about it. That should be it. You're not really dealing with audio or anything like that, so you don't need to care about that. If you want to add things like audio or things like that, I highly recommend you check out my video editing tutorial. Uh, it shows you how to do all of that. I'll just stick to just the green screen. So once you're happy with all these settings, just go to render, render animation, and your animation will be done. Oh, sorry. It's... So I think we've made a mistake. Yes, I think I know why. In the video editing tab, you have to remove this footage. There cannot be anything in the video editor. So Blender will know that if there's nothing in the video editor, it will take it from this compositing thing. So once you're happy with that, go to render and render animation and it will start going frame by frame and uh, rendering your final video. This can take a while because of all the calculations that are going on, but you can see the progress over here. It's on frame 16 and it needs to go all the way to frame 430. So uh, I don't want to make you wait until that. So I'm just going to go ahead and kill that and show you what the final video looks like over here. You're now one step closer to making a special effects movie. Great. So now let's move on and take you to the next level.